In our special report today, we'll look at hydrocephalus, the little known killer. Now, between 5,000 to 7,000 new cases of hydrocephalus are registered in Uganda annually. Now, this is a condition where water accumulates in the head of children who are less than five years. Luckily, 35 babies were freely operated on recently in Imbale, but many mothers failed to understand this silent killer. Now, our reporter was on ground and compiled this report. At the Cure Children's Hospital Recovery Ward, a 16-year-old mother, Maureen Wanyeze, carries her two-month-old baby, stroking it to soothe it. Wanyeze turns the baby's head to check whether the cannula is fixed in the right position. It is recovering from surgery done to treat hydrocephalus, a condition which means water in the head in Greek. And this one develops um, when, from when the baby is, uh, baby is conceived. In um, this, this, this tube which contains the fluid, the fluid usually feeds the brain. It, uh, it, uh, it contains some oxygen, it contains fluid, it contains amino acids. In uh, some babies, the tube is blocked even right from, from birth. And if it is blocked, it does not get out, the fluid does not get out and it accumulates. And the collection of fluid within the brain is what we call hydrocephalus. Hydro says hydrocephalus occurs when the fluid does not return to the blood as fast as it is produced. When a baby is conceived, in the first few weeks of life, um, the, the spinal cord and the brain start developing from the original cell, the original fertilized cell. And initially, the fertilized, um, um, the embryo initially is, is a flat, um, is a flat material, and then folds. And part of the folding encloses and grows up into the spinal cord and continues growing upwards and uh, also downwards. What grows upwards becomes the, eventually the brain. But in the folding, it then retains a fluid system, a hole throughout from the spinal cord up to the brain. And we call it the ventricular system in the brain. And in the spinal cord, it is called the spinal canal. It contains fluid. And in this fluid, um, when we eat food and, uh, and it is digested, absorbed into the blood, uh, it goes to supply the brain and the, from the blood the food moves into this fluid and it moves around to feed the brain also to give the brain some oxygen. Now, this fluid um, is in equilibrium, continuously moves, uh, it is absorbed in and then eventually it gets out. If it, this system gets blocked, either in the spinal canal or in the brain, you develop a swelling the system starts swelling and in the brain an enlargement of that canal which contains the fluid is what we call hydrocephalus. On the same recovery ward, another mother, 27-year-old Maria Bachiga Mbweko, sits changing diapers for her two-month-old baby. But the baby is also receiving treatment for hydrocephalus but was not born with the complication. It developed after surgery for spina bifida. When the baby is conceived, the, um, initially the, the spinal cord and the brain are, are, is, a flat, is a flat material. And then it slowly starts folding and it folds and forms a round tube. If this fold is incomplete, in the back you form what we call a spinal cord, an open spinal cord, a uh, canal. If it is along the brain, on the head, it is called an encephalus. And in uh, the most important risk factor, the main risk factor for spinal bifida, for this fold to fail to form completely, is a lack of folic acid or inadequate folic acid in the in, 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 uh, in the body. Hydro further revealed that spina bifida results from folic acid deficiency. A mother conceives a baby um, when a level of folic acid in the blood is low. This mother is at risk of producing a baby with 
um, spina bifida. So the most important preventive uh, strategy, therefore, is um, taking folic acid before conception. So starting it several months before uh, the mother conceives and, uh, and then continuing so that you build your body stores and by the time the baby is conceived, the spinal cord can um, form nicely. Starting to take folic acid after conception may not uh, particularly prevent it. Other sources of folic acid include dark green leafy vegetables and legumes like lima beans, black beans, black-eyed peas, and chickpeas. On the other hand, 60% of hydrocephalus cases are linked to infections like meningitis, according to Dr. Idro. Um, after birth, a baby may get meningitis, and meningitis damages um, the absorbing site. And then again, fluid starts accumulating in the, in the system, and you form hydrocephalus. Um, the, the accumulation of fluid within the brain uh, rapidly damages the brain and it is important that this is treated very urgently and that is what the surgeons do in trying to put a tube inside the brain so that the fluid is then taken out to create a mechanism to remove the fluid from the brain and taken back and into an abdominal space so that it can enter the blood uh, uh, system and that is what we call a shunt removing the fluid so that it can get find a way of getting out from from the brain uh, um, from within the skull into um, into either the abdomen and eventually finding its way out into into the blood he also estimates that about 80 percent of children born with spina bifida end up developing hydrocephalus because the cerebral spine is connected to the fluid that feeds and protects the brain and the spinal colon in many cases, once the back issue is closed off, the fluid builds pressure and it goes up to the brain. Other causes include a blockage in the pathway tubing, a condition called stenosis, bleeding in the brain which could result into a clot that can block the system. Dr. Idro Thas recommends immunization to prevent infections, stressing that preventing spina bifida is one of the ways to prevent hydrocephalus. Wanyeze and Bachigambweko's babies are among the 35 children who recently benefited from a five-day neurosurgical camp at Kiwa Children's Hospital, Uganda, based in Bale District. The camp was organized by Rotary Kampala Mienga Breeze in partnership with Kiwa Children's Hospital, Uganda, and sponsored by Orient Bank. The Rotary Club handed over a check worth 20 million Uganda shillings, which saw 20 cases of hydrocephalus, eight cases of spina bifida, three cases of trauma, two cases of dermoid cysts or swellings on the forehead, and two brain tumor cases treated. The surgeries were conducted by a visiting neurosurgeon from Newcastle in Australia, Dr. John Christie, together with the medical director of Cure Children's Hospital, Uganda, Dr. Peter Senyonga, the assistant medical director, Dr. Justine Onen, Dr. Emma Wegoye and medical students from Busitema University. The executive director of Cure Children's Hospital Uganda, Tim Erickson, said every month the hospital conducts over 120 surgeries. He estimates that in 2018 alone, over 1,300 surgeries were conducted to treat children born with hydrocephalus, spina bifida, and tumors in the brain. He however said that this is just a drop in the ocean because a total of between 5,000 to 7,000 new cases of hydrocephalus and spina bifida are registered in Uganda annually. Globally, hydrocephalus and spina bifida are a big challenge. For instance, Tim says hydrocephalus is the number one reason why children in America undergo brain surgery. This report was filed by Agnes Chotalengeire for New Vision TV.